everybody, Stephen Key here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe down below. Tell all your friends I'm here to show you how to license your ideas. And today's topic is, what is licensing? First of all, the traditional way that's been taught in universities, in fact, everybody thinks this is the way to launch a product, and it has been in, in the past, is that I'm going to uh, start a business, I'm gonna raise capital, I'm gonna do all the manufacturing, I'm gonna do all the marketing, I'm gonna do all the distribution, I'm gonna do it all! And yeah, that's called venturing, and that's been around for a long, long time. But today, I wanna to talk about what is licensing, because some people still don't quite understand it. I'm gonna make it simple for you. Licensing is basically, you come up with a, an idea, you show it to a company that's looking for ideas from us, and they rent it from you, they don't own it, they rent it, and every time they sell one in the store or on their website, guess what? You collect a royalty on the wholesale price. It's simple. They do all the work, they do everything. They've got, number one, great distribution already. They've got the shelf space already to go. Manufacturing, advertisement, they can do everything we don't want to do as creative types. So that's why I love licensing. So that's what licensing is. It's a great business model and it's growing by leaps and bounds. In fact, James put this chart up to show how licensing is really outpacing R&D, research and development at companies. Put that up. There you go. I also, James, put up that quote from that Harvard professor that talks about ideas coming from everyday people just like us. That's the future. That's what licensing is. Now, I want to show you a few products that have been licensed and they're really, really fun. Uh, some are from our students, some are just from friends. But anyway, I'm going to go through a couple of them just so you understand. The first one I'm going to talk about is this one right here. James, make sure you put it up there. Make sure you show a little video of Scott's product called the Grip Go. When you're driving along and your cell phone rings, do your eyes instantly go off the road? Does turning the wheel make it slip, slide, and even hide? then you need to get a grip. Hi, David Jones here with the new GripGo, the most versatile hands-free mount that will instantly grip any phone for safe driving. Just attach the suction cup to your windshield or dash and GripGo grabs your phone ultra fast. Then look, it peels right off. Wonderful product. Licensed it to a great company called All Star Products and the thing just went fantastic. There it is, there's one. All right, let me, let me find another one here. There's a few more. Well, let's do it. Well, I'm going to do this one here, too. Squigs. This is from Scott, too. This is one of our students. Scott has licensed over 40 ideas. This guy's on fire, by the way. And this is a huge hit um, with Fat Brain Toys. Scott, you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing this with me and with everybody else. Okay. And James, James, make sure you put the video up to show everybody what this thing looks like because it's just a great toy for kids. All right, next, Whiskey Wedge by Corksickle. There it is right here, you guys. This is really great, especially for you guys that uh, like to drink the browns and you don't like to mix the water with your browns. So he's got this clever idea. It's called the Whiskey Wedge. It keeps it nice and cold without mixing that ice that melts and then with your, uh, your favorite drink. Anyway, James, show a picture, please. Also, there's a little video uh, of Ryan and myself. We're at Toy Fair. Make sure you show that too, please. My name is Ryan Bricker. I invented the Whiskey Wedge. I licensed it to Cork Sickle. And I'm here at the International House and Homeowners Show in Chicago, where every brand you can imagine is here. And you need to be here to get inspired and to meet companies. Talk to them about licensing your idea to them. All right, great. I'm driving James crazy with all the editing, but I don't care. Here's another one that was licensed. Um, 
Jane, great job. It's called the guac lock. There it is right here. Guacamole, keep it fresh. You know, when you, you have a, a, a group of people coming over and you get the guacamole out and you cut it, you put it in a bowl and, you know, a couple hours later, it starts to turn brown. Uh, she created the guac lock. In fact, James, please show the little video. She licensed it to Casabella. They love inventors. So we're here at the Chicago International Houseware Show, and we are so excited that we are at the Casabella booth. We license our product to Casabella, and it's finally on the market, the guac lock. So the way it works is you put your guacamole in, and you put the top on, and you snap it in place. It makes a really nice locking sound. We worked hard on that. And with this air hole open, you push down until the top of the guac just appears in the hole. So it goes up, 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 it appears in the hole. Close it, put it in the refrigerator, forget about it. You can now make it in advance, and your company comes over, and you take it out, and because you push it up to the top, it always looks like a brand new ready to serve container. And sure enough, I think she's done over a million dollars in retail sales with this, so her royalties are gonna be fantastic. Great job, Jane. All right, here's another idea. This is one of my favorite called, it's called a Zip It Jean. I love this idea. You've been selling this, or you license it to a company. They've been selling it for years and years and years. You can find it everywhere. You guys, if you have a problem with hair getting caught in your sinks, if you've got a couple girls like I have growing up, that sink was always clogged. And you don't want to put bad material down there. You want to use one of these. You put it in there, you pull it out, and you get all the hair. It's absolutely fantastic. And here's another one from David Fidoa right here. David, I love it. It's called a picture, perfect pitcher or the perfect pitcher pour. One of them. James, show the video real quick. Pouring beer into a pitcher. One of a bar's biggest time and product wasters. If the bartender doesn't hold the pitcher just right, product gets wasted. And he can't work on any other orders. So customers are kept waiting and additional drink revenues are lost. Introducing the latest innovation for Behind the Bar from Sanjamar, the Perfect Pitcher. The new Perfect Pitcher helps improve bartender productivity and bar profitability. All the bartender has to do is point the beer flow at the target identified on the side where the handle meets the pitcher. It's designed to fill in place under the tap without extra attention while achieving the perfect head. You know what it is, if, uh, if, if you're in the restaurant business and you're, you're pouring beer in here and sure enough, it takes a while, you get the foam head. Well, this pitcher has a really unique bottom. So when you do fill it up, the beer goes down very smoothly in there and guess what? You don't have this big foam head so you can do it faster. It saves people time behind the bar. Great idea. Okay, so those are just a few ideas that have been licensed and <laughs> They're hitting the shelves. They've been selling millions, like Jean, the Zip It. I think it's done close to over 30 million in, in, in units. Anyway, at the very end, James, now I want you to put up what companies, companies are looking for ideas, and I want to show you which one. James, go ahead and show the one at Casabella. That CEO is looking for an idea. Please show it. Uh, Bruce Cavanston, Casabella. We love to work with inventors. We love to take ideas to market. Come bring them on. Next one, all-star products. As seen on TV, they want, they want ideas from you too. Hi, I'm Teresa Sanapi. I'm the brand manager here for All Star Products Group. Uh, we love inventors. We want new products and we want you to bring your new ideas to us and we will help you bring your idea to market. All right, next. I love this one, you guys. Sh Chef's Planet. They're looking for ideas. It's a smaller company, but they need you. Check them out. Hi, I'm Stacy Sears with Chef's Planet. We're based out of Laverne, California, and we want your ideas. We're inventor friendly, and basically we work with a variety of inventors who bring products to us. Oh, at the very end, Fat Brain Toys, Eric Quam, great guy. James, show the video. Hi, my name is Eric Quam. I'm Director of Product Development at Fat Brain Toy Co. And we love inventors. Yes, Eric just said they, he loves inventors. They love inventors. All these companies need you. So what is licensing? It's really simple. Rent those ideas to companies. They're looking for ideas. So please, get off the couch. Get going. Stephen Key here. Thanks for watching.
Bye. Hi, this is Stephen Key, and I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please, subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.